We're here with Kevin Gilbert, who's live down at Standing Rock. Um, Kevin, can you give us an update as to exactly what the feeling is down there, given the December 5th announcement that came out just a couple of days ago? The feeling on the ground doesn't seem to have changed at all, to be honest. Um, it's one of very peaceful, very prayerful. Um, this is primarily a prayerful action here. Um, we had an amazing day uh, yesterday um, where there was a group uh, world synchronized meditation by Unify out at Turtle Island, um, where we had over 500 people uh, sat in silence and in prayer, led by elders, and they were joined by over 40,000 people across the world. Um, so that statement that's been put out, um, we can't control that. We can just continue to do what we do. And the, the, the belief here by the elders is that if we continue to listen to the Creator, listen to the earth, then we are protected. What would you say is the size of the camp right now? Behind me, this has grown from probably 2,500 to 3,000 people to maybe over 10,000 people now. Now, we understand that you've been receiving some form of threats, uh, death threats, also nuisance calls. Can you give us a little bit more information on that? Um, yeah, that is absolutely true. Um, the other day, probably two days ago now, my phone was being tied up with um, what I'd call just nuisance text messages mixed in with you're not wanted here please go uh, please take your beep beep home um and they kind of graduated from that into if we see your face in town it will be the last time um so yes i have been receiving threats yes i have brought a lot of attention to this and there are people in the local area who are not very happy about that who are pro pipeline or pipeline workers or within the system that supports the pipeline and that's mostly where the threats appear to have been coming from. Now, if you had a message to uh, the people who are sending these threats to you, you know, what exactly would you say to them? Firstly, that I love them and I feel very sorry for them that they aren't able to open their heart and they aren't able to see through the smoke screen the national media and the system puts up that says the only way to live is to go through the nine to five, is to rape Mother Earth, is to use these fossil fuels and they aren't able to understand the message that we don't own this earth. This isn't our earth to own. We're guardians of this earth. And what we're doing here is we, our, our, our role is to make sure we can leave this earth as good, if not better, for the future generation. And I'd ask them this question. You know, in years to come, when they have their grandchild sat on their knee, and their grandchild turns around to them and says, we were looking at what was happening with the pipeline and all the destruction that was happening at that time. And now I can't fish in the river. What did you do at the time, Grandad? How did you let this happen? What were you doing to prevent this? What story do you want to be able to tell your grandchild? Do you want to say I stood and I did everything I could to make sure that didn't happen for you, but unfortunately it wasn't quite enough? Or do you want to say I was stood against those people. I was involved in brutalizing those people. I was involved in sending threats to those people who were trying to save the future for you. I didn't realize at the time, and I'm so sorry, but I can't do anything about it now. Look at my face. I'm here to stay. I'm happy. I'm healthy. I'm not depressed in any way. I'm physically fit. I'm mentally fit. I'm spiritually fit. And I'm here to let the world know what's happening, the story the media doesn't want to show.